We have a high profile DUI case to discuss with help from our legal expert, Greg Isaacs. It's always good to see you. Lord, it's good to be here. A lot of people talking about this. This time, we're not talking about a celebrity or athlete in trouble. It is Tennessee's Secretary of State, Trey Hargett, charged with DUI, pulled over Friday night while leaving the Bonnaroo Festival. Greg, obviously, no one is above the law. Let's talk about this arrest and the rest of the process. Well, wow, Trey Hargett, one of the highest ranking of, uh, constitutional officers in the state of Tennessee, our Secretary of State, uh, was arrested leaving Bonnaroo, booked into the Coffee County Jail at 1.30 in the morning. Uh, the warrant read, like most warrants do, uh, that he performed for poorly on field sobriety tests. Uh, however, uh, the Secretary of State did agree to voluntarily give blood when read his implied consent uh, warrants. And he's uh, also indicated remorse. He came out with a statement. But a lot of people were talking about this that we learned after the fact. Um, he was driving a state-issued vehicle. How does right. that play into this? Um, uh, a, a lapse of judgment on top of a lapse of judgment. He was driving a state-issued vehicle that he's allowed to drive for personal reasons. But a lot of lawmakers, and in fact, even uh, former Governor Haslam, have keyed in on the fact that he immediately issued a statement uh, accepting responsibility for his conduct and remorse, uh, said he had respect for law enforcement and would let the legal system uh, move forward. But he's in such a position of power, you have to wonder, no one's calling for his ouster. But how does this affect his his reputation? Wow. And, you know, when we talk about obviously DUI, serious, 48 yeah. hours in jail, lost a license for a year, $350 fine, all the other bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. But but Lori, when you have a criminal case, uh, it gets uh, compounded if it's a high profile case. And even if it's, you're not a high profile person, uh, not only is there issues with the court of law, mm -hmm. but the court of public opinion. Yeah. Uh, the good news in this case was he was on CNN. The bad news is, he's on CNN. Um, you, you know, if you're John Q. Public and you get arrested for DUI or another offense, uh, it, it impacts your family and friends because it's a public record. Uh, your mugshot is uh, online and it doesn't go away regardless of what these services say. Employers do a uh, search. Uh, so the consequences of the court of public opinion uh, can be as uh, severe as the consequences in a court of law. And the county DA says he's going to treat this case like any other. So what could happen and here? And all of your, your success and, and your stature as Secretary of State, celebrity, whatever, and what you see, uh, it, it backfires. Now, sometimes uh, it works out the good way and, and you can give people a break. Uh, but like in this case, suddenly you're under a Hubble telescope of scrutiny uh, locally, statewide, nationally. So everyone, if they do want to uh, issue you a break, your, your hands are tied. Mm. Uh, but unfortunate, but it's a good lesson to learn because, you know, sometimes you can get a good result in, in a court of law and still lose in the court of public opinion. Right. Uh, so two separate trains, uh, but it's unfortunate, but a moment Momentary lapse of, of judgment. Uh, there should be a lesson for everybody here. Uh, do not drink and drive. Um, Absolutely. He's due back in court July 14th, so we'll be following this case. We will. Thank you, Greg. Thank you.